This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Moneybag Yo uh, is on CMG, as we know. And then Pusha is on 1017. And as we know, Yo Gotti and Gucci Man don't get along. But it's good seeing Pusha Icy get wish, like free him, you know, and, you know, by uh, Moneybag Yo. Moneybag Yo and Pusha Icy have some, had some of the biggest albums of this year coming out of Memphis. Money Bag Yo sold the most, most this year. Pooh Shiesty, uh, Big 30, and some others are coming out of Memphis with a similar type of sound, but it's very popular. And uh, Pooh Shiesty made a lot of mistakes. So hopefully he can get free, but it's not looking good because he has a lot of evidence against him. But sometimes money and mistakes by the prosecutors, he can get released. So... Let's see if that happens uh, and learns a lesson from this. Then we got consequence. We looking for Drake drop day. Swiss beats line it up. Drop Yalo. Now, this is kind of irresponsible consequence being affiliated with Kanye when Kanye and Drake just got cool again. Or at least made amends to the point where they could coexist. And consequence is fueling kind of beef and competition between Kanye and Drake, which is, I'd have to say, is pretty irresponsible. Um, now, Kanye's locked himself inside the Mercedes-Benz studio, uh, stadium in studio until the album's done. Drake, we don't know when he's going to drop. He's definitely going to wait for Kanye to drop, and maybe that's another strategic hater move by Kanye, because Drake was scheduled to drop any week now, according to academics who speaks to him. And it doesn't look like Drake's going to be dropping when Kanye drops. If I were Drake, I would just drop this week. Shut it out. You know, because from what I heard, there's nothing on Kanye's album that'll probably top what Drake's doing. Drake's 100% focused on music. Kanye's focused on like five different things. You know, he's a church, the church thing, the... Uh, He's focused on clothing. He's one of the biggest clothing brands out here. Gap. He's on the board of Gap now. And then he has this album. He's not going to be totally focused on music. It's obvious. Because if he was, he'd be the biggest, biggest, biggest thing out. He is already the biggest thing out with <laughs> all his fans. But I'm just saying he'd be even bigger. Then let's get into a throwback. Nipsey is showing how much money he makes independently for some motivation. Now with JT News, well, one of hip-hop's most underrated artists, Nipsey Hussle from the West Coast. Very talented, great at picking beats, great at making music, but just never got his full shot. But he shows us on his Instagram today that even though, yeah, he might not be the most commercial artist, he is an independent artist, and he's showing you how much money you can make as an independent artist controlling your catalog and getting you know 70 80 percent of all your income because you know itunes and spotify and all these companies are going to take their piece for distributing it on their platforms but still if you were signed with a label you would only get a small piece of that 70 percent that came back from itunes or back from spotify you know so he shows that he has made nine hundred and eight thousand dollars he says no flex for motivational person purposes only the money's in controlling your catalog don't let him lie to you mailbox money now a lot of people took that that's what he made off of mailbox money alone but that's really off of his extensive catalog that is an itunes spotify and everything because it comes from his TuneCore account which is a distribu distribution platform for your music and they collect all your revenue for you and pay out to you and they don't take a percentage and i always tell all artists they always want to get a deal they want to do this i said if you were to market yourself put some money behind yourself like nipsey did take his own money he took his show money shot his own videos did his own websites this is besides the money he makes on the road touring this is besides the money he makes from doing the proud to pay program with physical copies this is just digital earnings okay this is besides his merchandising which he does with the crenshaw and the 
the hustle, the uh, marathon shirts and everything. He made almost a million dollars in the in the pay period. So probably a, you know this is probably a year's pay period, or maybe total. Who knows? But still making a million, oh, nearly a million dollars just on the digital platform is amazing. You know, I mean, technically, if you make five million dollars. You can live for the rest of your life. And this guy is making a lot of money, okay? He's driving a Maybach. He's got a hot girl, Laura London. He's got a baby with her. You know, he's making a lot of money. He's living nice. Um, could he go harder? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is just with him with minimal work. I'm not saying he's a lazy person. I'm just saying if he were to drop more music and more videos, I bet you that would say $2 million. But, uh... He, he's out here opening uh, fat burgers. You know, he's, he's very diverse, so he's probably a busy person because he doesn't want to focus just on music, even though it started with music, okay? So let this be a lesson to you. Put the money behind you. And then over here at Daily Hip Hop Live, Jordan Tower, we have the blueprint anyways. I can show you how to be an independent artist and set up your foundation. For more about this, hit me up at jordantowermedia at gmail.com. We can also place ads on videos and drive traffic to whatever you're promoting at the moment. Okay guys, Jordan Tower Media at Gmail.